All right, well, thank you for calling Computer Solutions. You have a great day. John, can you come into my office for a moment? OK. Good. John, I was monitoring your last call, and we need to talk about a few things for you to work on. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. I got a blue ribbon in my science fair when I was his age. Now listen, the consumer doesn't care about your personal life. The call time is the most important thing in this business. Well, I, I was trying to make the customer less anxious by building rapport. Yeah, but the bottom line is, shorter call times mean we can take more calls. More calls means we make more money. It's all about the company's well-being. You do care about the company, don't you? I, uh, here, I got another one. Uh, yep, I saw that movie. I mean, you saw a movie? Honestly, who cares? And you know, I've got this one too, so. I get it working. It's, it's, oh, oh, hold on. Hello, ma'am, ma'am. Hey, let, let, let me talk to him for a second. I think I can help out here. Hello? Is this Johnny? If her brat is throwing a fit, that is her problem, and more importantly, it is certainly not the company's problem. And you made a promise? Promises are liabilities, and you know what liability means? It means that we are responsible. I know what liable is. Well, you sure don't act like it. How long have you worked here? Six months. Six months? And you still don't get it? You either need to figure out whether you're going to be a team player, or you're going to go find another job. Now, get back to work. So that dickhead said that if I ever saw Paula again, he would leave me. Yeah, I was like, whatever, you, you can't control me around my friends. Well, well then, then he said that, that if he left, he was going to take the car. <laughs> yeah, and I was like, bullshit, Nick, you, you bought that car for me. I don't care, you know, whose name is in the title. That, right, that, that shit is mine. <laughs> and, and then he just said, fuck you, and, and walked away. Yeah, c can you imagine? He walked out on me. Exactly, exactly, yeah, he does need to learn his place, because there are plenty of men that want to get with me. Because, you know, get this. He went to Daniel's house after he left. Yeah, Daniel. Yeah, the dumb bastard still doesn't know that I fucked Daniel on top of his precious BMW last time he went golfing. Yeah. <laughs> hey, uh, hold on. What is in that backpack? Nothing.
Huh? Oh, hey, what's up? No, that should be fine. No, no, it's fine. Yeah, yeah, I can, I can look up with you later. Okay, cool. Cool, I'll see you then. All right, bye. Please, John, have a seat. So, John, how have you been? Uh, how are the locks holding up? Do you need any more anti-anxiety meds? The locks are fine. They're doing their job. You know, John, you, you seem a bit down today. Would you like to talk about it? You know, it's not the, uh, not the prejudice. It's not the morbid curiosity I evoke. It's not even people who give me shit for being different. I'm used to it. I can ignore it. How does that make you feel? It's like, once they notice the backpack, it's like, it's like all they see. It's especially bad when they know what's in the backpack. Now I'm officially the guy with the problem. They never get it. They never understand, I just can't take it off. I can't put the backpack down, it's a part of me. But it's not all of me. It's not all of who I am. I can't just take it off and set it down somewhere, not for a day, not for a second. But it's not a bad thing. Not like they think. It's not like I got some kind of cross to bear. The demon's part of me, you know. And I think I made, I made peace with that a long time ago. What I'm hearing you say is you feel like you're more in control than usual. I, uh, I feel completely sane. I feel like, despite all my troubles in the past, I'm not letting it control me anymore. Uh, I'm in school, I pulled down a job, I got a little place. It sounds like you don't think that you're ill anymore. Well, <laughs> It's always there in the background. But it's not something that, you know, it's a problem on its own. I'm in complete control of my mental illness.